Welcome back. New tonight, 1.2 million gallons of water has been used to fight an overnight business fire in Cherokee County, and crews remain on the scene right now to try to get these things out. In fact, they tell us they could be there throughout the week. And our own Amber Worthy has been there. We would go to her live, but there is lightning and rain in the area. But you're going to hear now how she reports on this, talking with the fire chief and other people who live near this fire. Yes, I wouldn't think we had that much water in Cherokee County. <laughs> as dry as it is, I, you know, I don't know where they're getting it from. Every fire hydrant I've gone by has had a hose hooked to it where they're filling the tankers up. Dale Petty says that a friend alerted him to the big cloud of smoke around 7 this morning because his parents live nearby. His family rode down the street to see what was left of the old plant that caught fire early Thursday morning on Champion Ferry Road. So this is the second time this building has burnt. It is crazy. All the fire departments that's come out to pitch in and help out. You know, I'm, I feel sorry for the workers. I know it's hot and muggy and, you know, they're just, they're not giving up. They've been out here since four o'clock this morning. More than 1.2 million gallons later, the fire crews were still battling hot spots. Yeah, the water company told us so far that they estimated we float over 1.2 million gallons. Again, we've got a water tank that's just right over our shoulder here. Uh, there's about four feet of water left in that tank right now. So like I said, we're having to come off of it and let it fill up. The state has been called in to help, and they are working to find more resources needed to contain the situation once and for all. It's our biggest problem right now is, like I said, we've got the combustible material that butts up to this building. And we can't get, we need heavy machinery. We need like a track hoe in here to get it away. Uh, but the building was not insured. So trying to get somebody to bring us heavy machinery when we're telling them right off the bat, we can't pay you for it, is, is not working out for us. So again, and then what you had was you had the concrete roof, with, uh, you know, the car and gravel on top of it has since collapsed onto what was burning. So everything that's burning is under that concrete. And it's very hard for us to get water on it because we can't put crews inside the building, it's just not safe. Residents in the area don't have to worry about evacuating for now. Just be mindful that there will be smoke in the area. Right now, we don't. there's no kind of hazardous you know, conditions. You know, if somebody around here has got some medical issues and you know, the smoke makes it hard for them to breathe, by all means, you know, if you've got somewhere to go and you can go stay with family for a little while, that would be great. But with the way the, the weather changes, the wind shifts, you know, it could be going over this one house right now and a few minutes later it's going somewhere else. Now, firefighters can't get in to truly access the damage and look at it and assess how much damage we're talking about. I mean, it is definitely a complete loss, but you heard the chief say they can't get any heavy equipment in there because the building's not insured, so they can't pay anybody to do this. But he says they could be there all the way through Saturday until they can get this thing fully put out. Hopefully, though, they keep up with the water supply as well. We'll have more updates on this throughout the week and weekend.